Is he going to make friends? Is he going to have a good time in social activities with other kids? You know, is this always going to be the hang up? And for Lucas, it was the opposite. He was born with this. It's called cymbodiliactyly. Basically, it's where the bones in his fingers and hand don't form uh, in the way that his other hand did. The coolest thing, when I first talked to him about it, um, before school started, he came in to meet me. And he said, have you heard about me? And I said, well, yes. And I said, but, but like what? And he said, well, um, I have a big hand and I have a little hand. And I said, oh, I said, is that what it is? I said, I said, yeah. And he said, you know, I can do just about everything that everybody else can do. We had known about robo hands for a couple years and, you know, trying to find access to someone that could build something for him that had access to 3D printing and that kind of technology, which was uh, you know, kind of out of our reach. I had already been looking into doing a hand prosthetic type of project, interestingly enough. And um, there is a website uh, that's called e Enable. And um, the goal of Enable is to identify makers, designers, individuals that have expertise with 3D printers um, and match them with children that have a need for a uh, prosthetic hand. The students and then uh, Gina, they were just wonderful. I mean, really interested in Lucas and getting to know him and making sure he was comfortable. You know, they wanted to know, you know, what's your favorite colors, like really personal questions for him. And then so that then they made robo hands to kind of go along with what he's interested in. We uh, used a handheld 3D scanner and created a computer model of his residual limb. And once we had that computer model of his residual limb, that's what uh, we provided um, to the entire team to allow them to work from that uh, in order to uh, fit the design so that it would be custom for Lucas. From my perspective as an instructor, uh, what I was really looking to try to do is to not only give the students um, the opportunity to understand uh, the disability that we were addressing, but also to integrate everything that they've learned along the way in their bioengineering program and also in rehab engineering and get to learn some new technology. Just the, the thought of being able to catch and throw a ball with that side of his, you know, that arm and hand. It was just sheer delight. It was like, oh my gosh, I could, I could pick up this ball, I could throw this ball, and he was engaging with the students in my classroom. He's never ever said, I can't do something. He'll always just say, can you help me? We now have an occupational therapist that Lucas sees. Um, there was concern with his growth and development on that side of his body and the strength that he's starting to build, the muscles he never used before. I mean, it's pretty big stuff as far as how it's going to be for him down the line growing up. You know, this is the time that his body is growing and it couldn't have happened at a better time. <laughs>